All you goofy ass, all you goofy ass two eyed niggas, y'all niggas ain't got no third eye. Stop trying to reopen the debate about duck. Duck was hit by government Illuminati agents. No more discussion about it. If you don't, if your mind ain't on the level that I'm vibing on, get the fuck from around my channel, nigga. You got to be so damn shallow to think a BD did that. Uh, what, what, who is this asshole? I forgot his name. I'm not even going to give you no clout. But a motherfucker responded to my video where I said rejecting Duck's peace treaty was a big mistake for BD. Some asshole get under there. Oh, some of what you're saying is true. But no, Duck was hit by a different BD set. Shut the fuck up. Duck was not hit by any beat black disciples. There was no two foes on their head. They would be a shitload more excited than what they are. Trust me. Self-snitching ass niggas ain't dropped no disses. They would have been told. I'm not getting into it. We're not opening that up again, bro. Bottom line is the media think they slick. And the media got dumb niggas like y'all confused trying to jump in to argue with me. Stop trying to fucking argue, nigga. There's no argument, nigga. There's not one two not one booty-ass donut. That's why I call them the booty donuts, nigga. <laughs> There's not one of them niggas hanging out at a fucking Gold Coast where the white people walking their dogs and picking up the dog shit and policemen writing parking tickets. Ain't no fucking BDs down there, man. I'm not even finna do this whole video with that topic. But y'all shut the fuck up. You niggas sound like some... Just some uninformed... You sound like that bitch nigga uh, AK-47. Calls himself King AK-47. You sound like that goofy ass nigga, man. Shut the fuck up. Y'all niggas shut the fuck up, man. See y'all, man? See, the, the government been lullabying you niggas. The, lo the government been holding you niggas like a baby. There, there, shh, go to sleep. And y'all niggas be like, sleeping good as hell. Y'all better wake up, man. Follow niggas like Rashad Jamal. You know, perfect example of a nigga that'll also enlighten you. If you support niggas like me, Rashad Jamal, then you anti-government. If you don't, if you don't mess with me, you don't like me. You, uh, you don't like niggas like Rashad Jamal. Then you government. It's either one side or the other. You know? Rashad Jamal, he told his story on live. He said... He did four years for defending himself. Nigga up the pipe on him. He did his thing. Right? We not allowed to fight for our own freedom, but you want us to go, go to war for the country? Man, you crazy. You crazy, man. There's a million reasons why the government hit Doug. Number one, they could never pull his social security card and enroll him in the army. You know they like to do that? Come on, man. The Illuminati hates a young, urban, streetwise. No, forget streetwise. Just a wise nigga in general. Wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Next thing you know, but look. Soon as Dirk is done sacrificing niggas, he'll be in a dress soon. Watch what I tell you. Dyed his hair blonde. Now see, it's two rituals. You sacrifice your people or you... You know what I'm saying? You you sit on a dick. The moment people stop getting sacrificed by dirt, he gonna start... Uh, he, gonna, he gonna start getting busy. You know what I'm saying? The ritual gonna change. You know? There's an abomination ritual where you sleep with your mans or it's the blood sacrifice. Now, when Dirk done blood sacrificing niggas, what you think he gonna get into? Hmm? What you think he gonna get into? For real. That nigga gonna need a pregnancy test at the end of the day. Soon, pretty soon, man. But man, y'all, man, y'all believe any fucking thing. Y'all niggas some goofies, man. Real talk, man. Real talk. Y'all better wake up. <laughs>